What is up guys, this is the Gothic Kitten and we're back with our Gothic 1 playthrough. It's actually being recorded on the same day that I did my previous video, with the only difference that I've walked a dog, I've had breakfast and I'm a little bit more awake at this point. Still feeling under the weather, but we can make this happen. Let's talk to Thoris. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. Well, I'm not gonna bribe him because I don't have enough ore, I'm sure. Let's see how much he would ask, though. If I gave you a certain amount of ore, would you let me in the castle? For a certain amount. How much? Well, it'd have to take a while to count the ore. Long enough to make sure me and my boys are busy counting while you slip by. So tell me, how much? One thousand nuggets should be enough. A thousand nuggets? Well, you could join up with Gomez. That'd get you in the castle for free. I could tell you right now, your guards, if I would give them a hundred ore, they'd also still be counting by the time I literally walk maybe 30 feet past you guys. Okay, and Diego told us not to say anything about the letter. So, let's just say we're gonna work for them. I want to work for Gomez. Oh yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. Well... Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. Well, here's the thing, though. Diego is still guiding me. He just told me to talk to you. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the tasks your patron sets for you. I don't know if I should say this, but I'm gonna anyway. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. Let's do this. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the ore barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. Sounds to me like the mages are your problem. Yeah, but they're a problem that's hard to solve. A few years back, one of the shadows tried to stab the High Magician of the Circle of Fire while he was sleeping. They found him later in the Outer Ring. In fact, he was scattered all over the Outer Ring. Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? You're new here. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. Where can I find Mordrag? You'll find him at the south gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. Do you want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face around here again. I don't care how you do it. I'll take care of it. 
so I guess that's it. Do we have to go talk to Diego again now? I think so. No? <laughs> I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. Like what? What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. What kind of skills? You can't even ask. Okay, where do I find the important people? Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris, you already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most skillful among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left and you'll be heading for the arena. What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. Kind of love how, again, when you just tell them that Diego sent you, that they're just gonna do whatever you ask. Like, just knowing this dude's name, even if you don't know him, will get you a long way in this colony. Where can I find the old mine? Go to Graham. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. He lives to the left of the north gate. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity, or your strength. Nice. Not right now, though. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. I bet. Take care. Well, there's no point asking about my esteem within the camp, because I literally just got here. Now, for time purposes, I kind of remember who to talk to and who not to talk to. I kind of don't want to talk to him, but so like that dude, I think his name is Graham, maybe or Grim, something with a G. He can get you out of trouble with guards and stuff. Hey, you! Are you talking to me? I'm warning you. People like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here, and most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Yeah, I doubt it. My lord, the lighting on this is horrible. Um... Is that a threat? Sure. Is that a threat? On the contrary, it's an offer of friendship. See, I don't I don't buy my friends though. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. That sounds like such a threat. Okay. Um, who are you? I'm new here. Who are you? I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. 
Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp. I've come to preach the words of the sleeper to strangers like you. So I was thinking like, do I really have to talk to this guy? I'm sure we're gonna learn a lot about the Brotherhood when we actually get there. But... Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna skip his dialogue. If we get more involved into the sect camp, we'll come back to him. Okay, this is Graham, so the other dude's probably Grim. Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? Your soul. Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. For you, a slap in the face. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. Give me the map or I'll take it. Hey, be cool, man. I don't want trouble. Here, take the map and leave me alone. I will. So we got a map now. Um, where is it? Writings. Okay, so we're in the camp, which is like in the bottom right. And then the mine is over the bridge where we came from and then to the left instead of we came from the right. So like the collapsed or the abandoned mine and then you have the old mine are pretty close together technically. This is only part of the map though. New here, are you? I don't know your face. I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. It's always concerning when they're like, I need a newcomer to do this job. Like, what qualities can I have? Or what job do you have that does not actually require any qualities but anonymity? You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. What good will your speaking up for me do? If you want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. If I speak up for you with Diego, that'd be a great help for you. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. Okay, so if I get there, we'll see. Digger. Uh, let's go this way. Because I remember this guy, Whistler. Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. So basically there's like, oh, you have to go get a super important list. Other than that, just slime up to people who have any influence here. And if they like you, or if they're happy with what you did, they'll speak up for you. How much that's worth, I have no clue, but... Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> And? And that's all you need to know. Okay. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. He like kind of sounds like Diego, but not really. It's very confusing. So Fisk. Is this dude? Hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. 
not gonna ask him for armor because he has the digger's armor and we can get that somewhere for free. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Sure. Because I need it anyway. Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. Now see if you don't have the 10 ore yet, like I think I got it from Diego's chest, you can always be like, I'll come back for it later. Go to Whistler, talk to him, he'll give you the extra 10 ore and then you can go get it. But... Fisk wants 110 ore for like his sword this? now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it, and now hurry. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. Creep. Okay, I'm gonna save, cause... Okay, so our game just crashed for a second. I guess that's what you get with old games being played on uh, higher windows. Um, version. I'm actually playing the day after I recorded the first part. When it crashed, I kind of rage quit. But so we're in this vicinity, and I think this guy. The sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. Is gonna talk to us, and he does. Okay, let's see what he has to say. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions. But now, it's time to get in touch with him. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away, in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. What would be the benefit of joining you? Maybe you're one of the chosen people who received the gift of magic from the sleeper. Totally idiotic. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. Only the best fighters among us can obtain that position. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. The best of the Templars receive the gift of magic as well. You see, our brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. Who's the sleeper? The sleeper speaks to us through dreams and visions. He has been leading us ever since he first made contact with Iberian five years ago. All the followers of the Brotherhood have renounced the three gods. We pray only to the sleeper for salvation. Salvation from what? From this goddamn place, of course. The sleeper will show us the way to freedom. So wait, hold up, your camp's like five years old? That's not very old. What did the sleeper tell you? He guided us to the swamp, to the old temple ruins. That's where we built our camp. He gave us independence. None of us need to labor in the mines. He showed us what swamp weed can do. We sell it to the other camps, and in exchange, we get everything we need. And he gave some of us the gift of magic. Of an old and powerful magic, which is different from the one the magicians of the realm use. Tell me about the magic of the sleeper. This gift enables you to control things with the power of your mind. Only the gurus of our brotherhood have been initiated into the secrets of this magic. Okay, we're not going to go to his camp just yet. It's going to be the third camp we go to. So we're just going to pass him. However, this dude... Also wants to talk to us. What is swamp weed? New here, are ya? You? you can smoke it. Very relaxing for most of us. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh! You're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. 
If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam, quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then, I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Kalam. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Kalam is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some point, Diego will ask me if you're suitable for us. Just guess what my answer will depend on. I'm still not doing it for free, though. Maybe I'll have to pay for the recipe. Give me 50 ore as an advance payment. Forget it. No ore, no recipe. Well then, we can talk about the ore as soon as you have the recipe. No, I want to see ore right now or you can get your recipe yourself. There's enough other newcomers. I think I should give the job to one of them. Okay, let's just forget about the whole thing. Not so fast. I just wanted to know how far you'd go. 50 ore is quite a lot for a newcomer, don't you think? That sounds better. Okay, okay, I've just got 50 ore nuggets spare here. Don't let me down, kid. Like, we can ask him where the camp is, but he's gonna tell to ask the ball that's there, and we already talked to him, so... Mordrax right here, but we're not gonna talk to him, because... We want him to take us to the new camp, and we don't want to mess with him other than that, so... Dialogue with him will be for the next episode, I reckon. Baking some meat, because that's good for us. There must be something about that story after all. Now there's a reason I'm coming out here, it's because someone asked us to look for a guard, and coincidentally that guard is out here in that cave you see in the background now, I don't know how good or how bad it's gonna go to fight these mole rats but we're gonna try anyway you can see that there's a lizard over there and some scavengers over there we're not gonna mess with anything and the mushrooms are for an a different quest but you must have noticed that I pick up anything any everything anyway so I'm gonna save on the second page just in case something goes wrong if he would stay on his own that'd be great let me move back a little bit Why are you mingling? Ugh, my timing. That was a close call. I almost joined that dude in that cave over there. But we didn't. So we're just taking this little cave because um, it makes our life a whole lot easier. Because I'm trying to finish up most of the esteem quests within the old camp before going to a different one. like to be efficient here. Okay, this dude has 10 ore and an amulet. We are going to eat some meat and get healed up. Like so. I actually still have 11 meat that needs grilling. Should do that too at some point. Even though I just grilled something, I thought it was done. So now that we figured out what happened to Nick, we can tell Sly when we come across him. Hey, you! 
I don't think I've seen you here before. No wonder. I've only just got here. Then watch out. The outside world is pretty dangerous. You're only safe inside a camp. Uh, okay. Ah, new face. What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here and the new ones always get into trouble. You could save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Just ten ore, man. It ain't much to ask. I don't think so. What if I don't pay? Hey, man, don't stress yourself. You're a newcomer. Take a look around. Collect a bit of ore and when you're ready to pay, then pay. You can do it anytime. But don't count on my help until you've made your contribution to my expenses. I'm sure you'll understand. Exactly. I'll see you later. Just you take care of yourself. I'm a newcomer. Do I look like I have money? No, I don't. Damn it. Right, left, left, left. Not sure if that was worth it. It is the sound of nightmares. And even worse, trying to get them. I kept on hitting the dead one, really game? What's wrong with you? Okay, that's two. The meat bug, the most challenging enemy in the game. Because it's just impossible to bloody hit it. Oh, thank you. I would kill these any days if it meant that the sound would stop. Okay, so now we're coming across like a somewhat intricate part. I'm gonna say for a second. Mm, I'm gonna talk to this guy. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters, you know. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp, but business is business. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in this little side chamber, and drop our ore, and I'll explain to you in a second why. Now the person we're gonna challenge is this dude, because he's wearing the armor of New Camp. I'm new here. Who are you? I'm Kareem. You must have just been booted in here, or else you'd have heard of me. I'm the best fighter this damned camp has ever seen. I'll challenge you. Let's go to the arena. You? I'll have you for breakfast, kid. Do yourself a favor and get lost. Also, we're already in the arena, but sure. So you don't get hurt, you coward? Don't you have any better ideas, boy? Now, I highly recommend trying all of these dialogue options because they're really funny. However, it's only the final one um, concerning Gomez that will get him to fight you. 
You're only here to get a chance to kiss Gomez's ass. What? You worm. You know nothing about us. The new camp is independent from all that shit. And apart from that, there's only one reason why I'm here. So I can beat the brains out of smartasses like you. It'll be my pleasure to do the same to you. Your destiny is awaiting you in the arena. Better not go rushing into anything. Pain is a question of willpower. Clear Next winner, time I'll say. kill you. Let's talk about something else instead. He doesn't even have ore on him. Okay, so two points. There is dying and there is being knocked out in this game. Right now I am knocked out, which means I will have a sliver of life left and I'll come back up and everything will be fine. However, if creatures and stuff kill you, or if they deal a death blow, you it's game over, you actually have to reload. The second is, as you saw, whenever you're knocked down, they search your body for ore. Now if I would have had my ore on me, he would have taken half of it. And I will just not have that. So that's why I dropped my ore before going into combat with him. So let's talk to Scatty now. I challenge Karim. And boy, did he whack you. Still, you chose the right opponent. I just can't stand those bastards from the new camp. Seems like you feel the same way. You're just the kind of guy we need. Thank you. So that's that. They are going to complain that you didn't fight everyone, but there's no point. The one you really have to fight is Karim. And trust me, you can't beat any of them either way. So this guy is the guy that Diego told us about. He said if we went to the left at the castle gate and we cling to the wall, we're going to meet fingers. He can teach us a thing or two. So let's talk to him. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. Okay, see lockpicking. Definitely lockpicking. I love doing that in any game. My favorite mechanics should, will probably be um, Skyrim and Fallout, followed by the Risen mechanic, where you actually have to get the bolts to pump, like to jump up. Really love it. One of my favorite things to do in any type of game. How can I improve my lockpicking skills? You'd like to know that, wouldn't you? It's not too difficult to begin with. Above all, you have to make sure that your lockpick doesn't break off. If you're a little bit more patient in future, you'll see that you won't need that many lockpicks anymore. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Yes. You've learned something which makes you quite useful to us. We can make use of skilled thieves in this camp here. You'll have my vote. Thank you. I just realized we haven't healed up yet, so let's see what we can... I could use a healing potion, but this early in the game anything heals well, so... We'll eat this. Meat bug ragu is 9. Is less, so we're gonna stick with meat. Now we need a little bit, so we'll eat this. Delicious. It's my revenge on the meat bugs everywhere. How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. 
Sounds good. Then go and see you get me the things. The last one I sent just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. He hasn't, but apparently we cannot. I don't think we can tell you. But I got all the things you asked, though. I have the things you wanted from me. Good. I just have to add them. Then the stew will be ready. Wait. Well, he already gave us the stew, so... I'm gonna go up here for a second. Because of that guy on the bench. I could tell you all about him. But I promise you, I will show you in later episodes. But he's horrible. Like, even the most peaceful kind of person will want to beat him. It's ridiculous. I don't even know how they thought of doing it. But they did. And they did it well, so... But I promise you, when we finish off everything here, we'll pass him. Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you. But we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Is that a threat? On the contrary, it's an offer of friendship. I think we had this conversation before. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. I will try. Now see, what we're still gonna do is tell Sly that we found Nick. See how he feels about it. Give our condolences and all that. I found Nick. Good. Have you got any evidence for that? I found this amulet on him. Here you go. It was actually the amulet the whole thing was about. You're a clever guy. You might have had the idea to keep the amulet yourself, but you've made the right decision. If Diego asks me about you, I'll vote in your favor. So I guess he doesn't care that much. Oh lordy. We almost went down there. So I guess he didn't care that much about him. I think based on our skill lock, recipe of the sect requires us to go to the sect camp, test of faith and Thoris' quest. I'm gonna do while I'm near the new camp, obviously. So I think we've done everything within the walls of the camp. Just to make sure how we progressed, we're gonna talk to Diego and ask about our steam within the camp. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? Scotty has told me he's anxious to see how you come off against Kurgo. But he was impressed by you having the courage to fight against Karim, even though you've been defeated. Whistler told me the story about Fisk. Well, if I was you, I would have taken the ore and cleared it off. But anyway, he thinks a great deal of you. Sly told me that you found Neck. He seemed to be really content. Fingers told me that you've already learned a bit, but he thinks you can still improve your skills. I really need to talk to Dexter. He's using you for his own business. But there aren't any rules for the test. If you manage that, you'll be making a big step. The business with Mordrag is really quite a job. He's not bad as a warrior. You should exercise if you really want to defeat him. All things considered, that's not too bad for a newcomer. Thank you. Take care. So, I feel like we're gonna end it where we... Hey what? you! Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I could help you. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp. One of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. What do you say? I had a very peaceful episode and I've not been, well, except to get Nick, really been outside the walls, so I'm sorry, but I'm not interested right now. If you're willing to have me later, maybe we can do that. Not interested. You'll have to look for somebody else. With this kind of attitude, you won't last long here. 
Just tell me if you change your mind. As I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted, we're gonna end the episode where we started it, which is right here in front of Thoris. Next episode we're gonna go do Thoris' quest, so we're gonna talk to Mordrak, potentially kill him, potentially see what he has to say, hopefully get to the new camp. Uh, and I hope to see you next time on the Scratching Post!